Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new F122 video here on the channel. We're checking out another mod today. We recently checked out the Gunter Steiner mod. Today we're checking out Jamie G18's V8 hybrid engine mod which comes with a uh, Mercedes A, Ferrari A, as well as Renault, but as well Porsche, BMW, and Ford engine mod. We'll be checking out a couple of them here today uh, for you guys to see what it's all about here. And I am excited to show this off because it is awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase each engine here and shut up here for a moment and let you guys listen to now, first off, the Mercedes engine. That was the Mercedes. My favorite part about the Mercedes engine was actually the downshifts. Now, here with the Red Bull car, I actually put in the Porsche engine. This is my favorite one uh, of the mod, so let's check it out. I love that one so much here now as well as we got the Ferrari engine. Uh, let's go quiet here and go for a ride on board with the Ferrari. The Ferrari engine kind of had a bit of a, almost a Formula E kind of squeal in the background to it. I noticed there with that high pitch noise in the background, but nonetheless, let's check out now the Renault engine here with the Alpine. So you heard most of the engines now, I will leave the others uh, for you to check out if you download the mod yourself with the BMW as well as the Ford uh, engine. But now let's do a whole five lap race here with all the cars on the track at once. Let me go quiet here for this opening lap.
absolutely love this mod here by Jamie G. I mean, it's such a cool mod. I've used a few of Jamie's mods in F1 2021 with more livery stuff. And uh, once I saw this V8 engine mod, I knew I had to check it out here. And it's so cool. And I'm actually uh, thinking about using it potentially uh, in the My Team series that I have here on my channel as well. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Maybe a part of uh, engine regulations. Now, there's supposed to be engine regulations and what 2026 I think it is now uh, obviously it's 2022 I'm not gonna wait until like say season four or five of my team to go and do that so I think we're actually gonna bring it in next season if we do that but I'm gonna on probably one of the upcoming episodes here uh, of my team actually do a bit of a poll for you guys to uh, select if you want to have uh, engine regulation changes part of the series uh, and change over to the v8 uh, hybrid engine mod because it sounds so cool it reminds me of the sounds that I heard at the the very beginning of when I started watching uh, watching Formula 1 and getting into the sport uh, in general here and my first F1 game ever was F1 2011 this was uh, the sound that I was used to and uh, then I remember got uh, 2013 was the next game I got after that and at that point I wasn't huge in F1 I was still just uh, really really young at that point so I had no idea what in the world the sport was about but it certainly brings back that nostalgia and that iconic sound that Formula 1 was most known for here now as you can see us scrapping it out with the cars around us here and Jetta making a pass right there uh, on uh, George Russell in the Mercedes now as well. Uh, what does the car sound like here with the V8s with the uh, replay system? Let's check that out. They certainly uh, replicate the sound very well in in the replay system, just like they do here on the onboard, as you can tell uh, by that as well. Such a such a awesome mod here now, as you can see, closing in on the end of this five lap race, making a nice pass on Lewis Hamilton, uh, Sainz and Leclerc actually side by side. Hamilton lunge went up the inside of myself, but it's really cool being able to hear the different engines around us as well uh, while we're racing on the track. Just the, the high pitched squeal that, like I said, brings back that nostalgia uh, as we actually make a three wide pass as Perez here down into turn one. Take the lead uh, here in Saudi Arabia in Jeddah, uh, and we would hold on here over this final lap here. No problems whatsoever. I guess I had the AI a little bit too low here. It was only on 102, but I thought it'd be a little bit more difficult uh, than it was. But we go down into that final hairpin here, and actually a big lunge up the inside from the Spaniard of Carlos Sainz runs me a little bit wide, but it doesn't matter. We're going to come through uh, to win here in Jeddah. As you guys know, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. What an awesome mod uh, to check out. Like I said, you can download it yourself, check out the couple other engines that I didn't showcase like Ford and, and BMW as well. But that is going to wrap it up for myself. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day for watching. If you enjoyed, like I said, you know what to do. I will see you guys in the next one. Have yourselves a great day.